Welcome to the StockMatter.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your Stock Matter, Brian Johnson, making professional trading simple. And we got what uh, we kind of expected yesterday. I said, you know, don't be surprised if we see a sideways move, and that's what we got today. Very common to what we have seen over the past few uh, um, weeks of trading, and that's a real big rush one direction or the other, whether it's up or down, and then a day or two of just kind of this flat level going nowhere type of movement that overall is still uh, bullish until proven otherwise what that gives us as you can see here on the 60 minute we have the, the run up yesterday the little drawback here and then a move towards the end of the day towards the upside leaving us with a daily candle of this I'm gonna zoom that in just a little bit for you here let me bring that into a three month uh, and there you have it uh, so Potential reversal candle, absolutely. Once again, potential being the operative word here. But as long as it stays up towards the high, um, it is still more bullish than it is bearish at this point. Look what we saw here. We saw Gravestone Doji and, you know, everybody, I'm sure there, I'm sure there was a lot of people that were absolutely uh, convinced it was going to move down from there, and we didn't. We, we did see a little move down, but uh, overhead support held, so this could be the, the exact same thing. A lot of these little... Um, candles that we're getting towards the top of these moves um, aren't necessarily meaning a whole lot, uh, at least not right away. So we need to see a move back down below 10,500. If you can get that move tomorrow, that would be a very defensible short place uh, on the diamonds, on the Dow, however you decide to play it. Uh, a close below 10,500 would be the start for the bears uh, to get a close back below that. Here we have the NASDAQ hanging out, basically just basing sideways, pulling back into the 60 period moving average here, or the 20 period moving average on the 60 chart. How about that? And now moving back up towards the end of the day. So uh, finishing up uh, uh, about a point and just below where uh, it's high for the day. So on a daily time frame, that gives us that exact same type of look to our candle, and that is another potential topping candle. But as long as it's up above this 1880-ish area, it's uh, it's still uh, a very still still a very bullish move. So looking for a break maybe up and over this, I'm still looking for a target potentially to the upside of this. Uh, 1900 plus area maybe 1970 seems a bit high but uh, a lot of these levels back here seemed a little bit high to me too even before we got to them so uh, continue to watch this move it is trickling upwards and as long as it stays now above the 1880 mark the Nasdaq is still bullish the next the, the really heavy level to get back below for the bears is this 1800 ish area SPX on a 60 minute looking at it once again moving sideways finishing right towards its high up 3.52 points today as you can see uh, it says it opened at 1132 but its high here was about 1136 finished at about 1136 so finishing right on its high giving us look at this nice flat level of support resistance we're getting right here about the 1132.50 area so this has given us a lot of things to work through chew through on the way down the bears will have a lot of work to get through the 1132.50 11.30 11.25 on and on and on particularly this 11.15 mark is going to be huge from a daily standpoint though you can see it up and above this upper level of uh, resistance this channel line did not hold this time. I think I may have made mention somewhere back in here. Uh, you know, do you feel lucky? Take a short here is a very defensible place to go short because of what we had seen in the past. But uh, because we had finally broken this overhead resistance, I said, do not be surprised if we break this overhead resistance. It didn't do it on this try. It did do it on the next try. So here we are breaking upwards and over where we were at before. And on a weekly, you can see here that we're still up and over, and that we're just poking our head up and over this resistance area here. So <laughs> all kinds of bigger levels of resistance starting to fall at the feet of the bulls. Um, look at the volume pouring out of here, though. 
keep an eye on that. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going down. I'm just saying that that just simply means volume isn't confirming right now. But we've seen a whole summer of volume not confirming and, and prices continuing to move upwards. I guess what I'm most curious to see is once the bigger volume starts to come back, will we continue this upward movement? VIX on a DALI. Uh, it's still staying where it has been before, moving down today, so confirming what we saw in the markets, coming down towards big green here, this big green level, but as long as it's between these two levels, as I said, there's no fear that nobody's worried about anything right now. Uh, certainly no concern uh, in the options uh, markets yet. Apple on a 60 minute, now up 37 cents, but like the markets, basically sideways, kind of, you know, up a little bit to begin the day and 